this is uh, an exciting night, and I'm, I, I asked Aaron to join me tonight. You know, there is such tremendous collaboration going on, and, and we keep saying thank you to each other. <laughs> so um, we just want to do this together, and I hope you're okay with that. But I, I want to say thank you for coming and being a part of this tonight. Um, we're excited to announce that through a pilot partnership between the Salt Lake Arts Council and Broadway Media, the Twilight Concert Series will continue this year. Yay! Right? I am incredibly grateful to the team at the Arts Council and Economic Development Department for finding a responsible way for us to move forward with Twilight this year. The partnership you will hear about tonight will allow the music to go on this year while we continue to strengthen the concert series for the future. Thank you to Broadway Media for stepping up and partnering to keep this legendary part of Salt Lake City's art scene going. I believe the Arts Council's community focus and Broadway Media's production and promotion expertise will only strengthen Twilight. Thank you again to the 31 years of the Twilight Concert Series and keeping that alive for Salt Lake City. Thanks, Mayor. Uh, as she said, I'm Erin Mendenhall. I'm the chair of the Salt Lake City Council. We are thrilled that this institution of Salt Lake City is continuing. And what better place than the Gallivan Center? In 1995, I saw Junior Brown play at the Twilight Concert Series at the Gallivan Center. It was one of those seminal experiences as a young teenager, yep. not living in Salt Lake City, but coming to the big city to see such a concert. I can't wait to get back there uh, for this August concert lineup. The council is really happy to see this continue and that there's no new inf uh, financial investment required of the city in this partnership. It's incredible what it has happened here and it's thanks to the brilliance and the dedication of the Salt Lake Arts Council and their board and the willingness of our partner, Broadway Media. So thank you to both organizations for bringing this together and for not having us see a sunset in twilight. Yeah. So tonight I say rock on, and we'll see you at Gallivan Center. Amen. Woo! Uh, hi, my name is Kayvon. I'm the president of Broadway Media. Uh, so excited everyone could be here today. Uh, I wanted to start off by saying uh, Deloitte Hanson, the owner of Broadway Media, wanted to be here today, uh, but he is actually doing an event for our new uh, women's soccer team, Utah Royals FC. Um, but he sends his regards, and, and one of the, this type of partnership, this type of uh, community collaboration is extremely important to Deloitte. And the Twilight Concert Series going away is not good for our community. Um, when we first heard about it, Jake Jensen, the, the handsome gentleman back there who's wearing a suit for the very first time in his life. <laughs> uh, when, when we first heard about it, we, we were just sad. I, I, I don't know how else to say it. Um, we're fans. Uh, we've, our, our company's going all the way back to when we were Simmons Media and, and Mill Creek Broadcasting way back when. We've been partners with Twilight Concert Series. So we, we were just sad. And, he came to my office and we were talking about all the great shows that we'd been to, from Ludacris to, um, you know, last year with Diplo. Um, and when, he, when we were talking about it, we said, well, is there anything we could do? So we called Talitha Day from Galvin Center. And I gotta tell you, Talitha has been such a great partner and uh, this deal doesn't happen without the help from Galvin Center. So I, I wanna make sure that they get their credit. But yeah, absolutely. So we, we called Talitha and we said, what do you think? Is there anything we could do? Would you want to do the concert series here? And they said yes. And from there they said to give uh, Karen a call. So we called Karen from the Arts Council and we came and we met. And if I'm being completely honest, we met for probably two hours and in this very building. And I left the meeting and I went, 
Well, we gave it a shot. And it was probably a week or two later that she called and said they wanted to meet again, so we came again. And then we came again, and we met again, and we were finally able to get a deal done. So I'm, I'm extremely grateful uh, to the Arts Council, uh, to Mayor Biskupski and, and the city. Um, and I also want to tell, there's a lot of people from Broadway Media here, uh, as exciting as today is, the real work for us begins right now. Um, we, we are behind the eight ball a little bit as far as booking talent. We've got some offers out there. We're working on it right now. But the real work begins now. But uh, we'll worry about that tomorrow. Today's a celebration. Congratulations to everyone. And thank you all for coming. Appreciate it. I am Carrie Hopkins. I'm the chair of the Salt Lake City Arts Council and a lover of Twilight from when I first moved to Salt Lake and used to go to the Gallivan Center. So I'm excited to go back to the Gallivan Center every Thursday. Um, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone involved that made this happen. Um, Broadway Media has been amazing to work with and we're really excited to see um, what this summer turns into. I really wanted to thank the staff at the Arts Council who have done a ton of work to put this proposal together, which is turning into the deal we'll sign tonight. Um, I also want to thank the board who does a ton of work, and particularly the um, programs committee. So thank you. They're all sitting right here. And um, Matt Castillo, who is the MVP of the board with our uh, finances. Um, so yeah, let's... Um, celebrate the fact that Twilight lives. I've always heard that your 30s are better than your 20s, so year 31, here we go.